Welcome to Channel X TV, sponsored by Volo. I'm delighted to be joined today by Anthony, head of eBay Ads New Ventures, um, to talk, talk about eBay's advertising opportunities. So welcome, Anthony. How are you today? I'm doing wonderful. How are you, Chris? I'm great, thanks. So what do you do at eBay? Oh, my role is to um, look at the existing suite of products and see if there are any gaps or opportunities for us to offer our eBay ads customers uh, new services uh, that can help them improve their sales and improve their reach. And we've got an exciting one to share details of today, a new advertising product for eBay ads, which is a little bit different from the existing portfolio, um, eBay offsite ads. Anthony, can you tell us what are eBay offsite ads and how does it benefit eBay sellers? Yeah. Offsite ads uh, is a new advertising tool that we just launched that helps our sellers um, invest in promoting their items outside of eBay uh, on channels such as Google. So that is why it's exciting. We know that people don't always start their, um, their purchasing journey on our site and they do that offsite. And we're now helping our sellers to put their items where those buyers are. So this sounds really interesting. It, oh, it, it, it begs the question, what's the reason behind eBay investing in this product? But I think you've almost answered that, that not everyone starts their buying journey on eBay. Correct. Um, I mean, the reality of it is products like uh, Google's um, product listing ads. I mean, we've all searched on Google and seen those items with pictures and prices. Uh, products like that are only available if you own the domain where that um, product is currently listed. So before now, our sellers couldn't actually um, leverage those kind of ads, you know, they call them product listing ads. So we saw that that was a blocker. We could do it, but they couldn't do it. Uh, and we decided, okay, gotcha. let's enable them to do it themselves by going through us. That's why offsite ads was built. And I know Google is getting a lot more complicated. They're almost forcing you to go through a CSS nowadays. Correct. Uh, when might a seller want to use an off-site off ads on eBay as opposed to the, the more traditional promoted on li listing ads on, on eBay? Well, so if you do promoted listings on eBay, uh, you do get a benefit of um, being listed on Google as well. We have our, you know, what we call extended uh, external promoted listings. So when you promote on eBay using promoted listings, you do get some benefit. But the way we look at it is we have to manage that um, process in a way that makes sense for eBay. Uh, sometimes sellers want a little bit more. You know, it's possible that you have some items that you really want to give a push. You are maybe doing a, a clearance. You need liquidity in a hurry and things like that. This product is there to enable you go above what we will do uh, by investing your own uh, funding into the process. So that is and when you will use that. Mm. Um, and which channels is eBay currently partnering with to drive the reach of the seller's products across the web in general? So for now, offsite ads only goes through Google. Uh, we're also experimenting with Bing as well. We're being very careful in choosing those um, channels, um, but we hope to extend to more. I can announce all of them here. What we want to make sure is that we choose channels that would perform very well for the seller. Mm. And I think it's fair to say in the UK, Google is probably 70, 80, 90 percent of search anyway. I know it's slightly different in the US where Bing is a lot more popular. But many eBay sellers already run their own Google shopping campaigns. So uh, would you suggest that they should replace these campaigns with offsite ads or run their own Google shopping and offsite ad campaigns in tandem? How, how, how does it work in practice? Well, I, I don't really um, say you have to stop running your ads, but you have to understand there are people who search on Google, and if they see your ad uh, and they see a Google, an eBay ad, they may prefer to shop on eBay. Remember, if they go on your site, they have to give you their credit card, they have to give you their shipping yeah. address. Uh, and also, they might not even know Anthony. If they see an Anthony .com, they don't know my, who I am, but they know eBay. So it's important to have a multiple channel approach to marketing because it's not every buyer that is going to be willing to check on a new website and buy an item even when the price is lower um, some buyers will trust ebay or already feel it's more convenient so it makes sense to leverage as many channels as possible when you're going after buyers 
Yeah, I have to admit, eBay is like normally my first port of call because I've got the account. I, it, it's a single click to buy it right. now, or I can add it to my basket with other products. <laughs> it, it, it makes sense. Yeah. So I will say um, just quickly, there are people who had those concerns before they tried the product. What we have seen so far is it's not necessarily cannibalizing their business. It's additive to what they were getting before. Yeah. So if that is a concern. So we know some sellers are already benefiting from um, Google shopping ads through their promoted listing campaigns. So people are going to want to know that are watching this. Will offsite ads compete with the ad placements from promoted listing campaigns? How, how does it work? Well, the offsite ads product is a dynamic CPC product. So that means you pay cost per click. Um, and it's adjusted high or low um, to make as much, make it as economic as possible. Uh, whereas promoted listings, as you know, is a, um, is, a, is a cost per sale. So you have a percentage of the sale. The economics means that we are more conservative in how we advertise uh, with, the, um, with the external promoted listings that you get with your promoted listings, or that you even get when you don't even do um, PL at all than when you decide to choose this offside ads. Offside ads is a more aggressive product than external promoted listings. And of course, external promoted listings is more aggressive than typical uh, non-promoted listings. So this is about you saying, hey, I want to invest so that I can have more visibility on Google so I can get more uh, chances to get a buyer. That's what this is about. So it depends on your appetite for investing in your marketing. And how will sales be attributed between promoted listing standard, promoted listings advance, offsite ad campaigns? How do I know which we are going to pay where? I mean, could I potentially have to pay both because someone sees my offsite ad and comes to eBay and I paid for the click and then they hit a promoted listings on a sponsored product? Do I have to pay again? No, actually, once you start doing offsite ads, those um, your entire account is moved out of. Uh, our external promoter listings. I mean, you're still marketed on the site, but you're no longer in our Google campaign for the external promoter. Actually, Google doesn't really uh, like multiple, um, you know, items being in multiple campaigns. So you're actually moving to another campaign and you're not going to get charged twice because now you're in a different type of campaign on Google than the previous one. So that's really interesting. And I think that's one thing people will be really pleased about, that there'll be one or the other. Yeah, one but or the other. What if I've got a different types of products where I need different marketing strategies and I've got some that I'm quite happy just with promoting on eBay with promoted listings and I've got others that I really want the offsite ads. Can I choose which listing going to what type of campaign or is it just an account level, everything's offsite ads or everything's promoted listings? Yeah, we're still exploring the possibility for you to be able to either select or exclude listings. Uh, but at, as at now, Offside Ads is an account level campaign. Uh, I should also mention the campaigns are run on what we call a target ROAS. That means uh, we tell Google that we really don't want you advertising these items unless you think there's a, a, a possibility of a purchase. So it's a very conservative type of campaign uh, that we are running, even though, again, it's more aggressive than the external PL. Uh, and Google is taking that into account so that it doesn't just blow your budget. It's quite conservative in how it places it. But for now, it's an account level opt-in. You have to understand, uh, we have already done something most marketplaces have not done by taking our campaign and breaking it down by sellers. Most other marketplaces like uh, you know, our computers, they just send the whole feed as just one uh, account. We had to do a lot of engineering and you know, innovation to break it into sellers. To now break it down again with Google, into individual campaigns is a little more technically challenging, but we are we are working on how to figure that out. Good to hear. I look, look, look forward to more news on that in the future then. Yes. But the other thing sellers are going to want to know is, um, some people will only trade in the UK on eBay.co.uk, but others will use campaigns in other markets. How will offsite ads work across uh, across the different markets? Will it be I'm a UK seller, my camp offsite ads will only be shown to UK sellers, or if I also sit to Germany and France or the US, will will my ads appear in those territories as well? Um, until recently, it was kind of um, limited to country, but recently we've now 
uh, adopted a cross-border um, cross trading uh, CBT type of uh, option. So if you already opted into any of this cross-border um, shipping and being able to sell in other markets, your ads are now going to show in all those other markets as well. Fantastic. So the, 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 the $100 question has got to be, what sort of performance will sellers typically expect from off-site ads what, what what's what's the bang for my buck what am i what what, what can i expect to see is it going to be a, a massive increase in sales um is it going to be a bit more conservative and it'll be a smaller increase in sales what, what's it going to do for my ebay account well so we're still trying to uh get the you know performance numbers sort of cleared by ir and pr i'll rather wait for them to officially release those numbers sure uh, but what i what i can say is that uh majority of the customers who have used it uh you know seeing a difference again it's not for everybody remember there are I, the items have to be eligible um for google to share them for example you know google prefers fixed item fixed uh, price items uh google prefers items that have more information like product id um, and things like that so i would say it depends on what you're selling but i think the people who sell uh, our sellers who sell the things that uh, tend to do well on Google are now seeing a much more higher level of sales than they would have if they were using either external PL or our typical evergreen, um, you know, general um, Google advertising. So it differs from seller to seller, but if you are the kind of seller that sells what Google considers good inventory, I think you, you will get very good uh, bang for your buck with this product. This is really interesting, Anthony, but the question people are going to want to know is how do you use offsite ads in tandem with other eBay programs um, that could be promoted listings or it could be marketing tools like flash sales or coupons? And if I've got a, a sale price going on, does that automatically feed through to my offsite ads and reflect in the price? How does it all hang together? Well, first of all, you have to go and opt into the offsite ads program. Uh, as I said earlier, offsite ads ops all your um, inventory into our program, uh, and then we start to run uh, this, you know, target ROAS campaigns to get you a good ROAS on on Google. So it's it's not it's not necessarily if you have other campaigns going on eBay, it doesn't necessarily block you. Um, and again, as I mentioned earlier, it's not going to be double charged an advertising fee. You only get to pay one. You pay the offsite ads, uh, you know, cost per click, uh, and you don't have to pay any other. Any other fees for it? And um, I understand that offsite ads is um, still in beta. So, are all the sellers eligible to start using it today, or do I need to get an invite? Um, when can I start testing to see if it's right for myself? Um, I think we've expanded eligibility. In the beginning, it was a, a handful of sellers because we wanted to make sure we get it right. Uh, we've expanded eligibility. It's not still available to every uh, everyone, uh, but you know we're talking now or in the millions number. Um, most of it is we're trying to stick with you know the legal requirements. Some of it is related to VAT rules. Um, so you know if we start offering it to consumers, we might need to make sure that the pricing reflects VAT and things like that. So we have had to. We have had to limit it down to, I think, uh, business mm -hmm. sellers, but um, we are working on how to get it um, open to more, to more uh, types of sellers. And now for the really interesting bit, if I'm a seller watching this interview and thinking of setting up my first off-site ads, what sort of expertise do I need to enable me to set up a campaign? Is it kind of a similar process to say um, promoted listing standards or promoting listings advance or is it a lot more complex or is it is it simpler it is so simple i would say you can set up an offsite ads campaign in less than two minutes um, oh wow it's, that, yeah, that is quick. All, all you need is a budget tell us your daily budget um and then a few couple of settings and you're good to go because it's account level opt-in uh one of the things i think feedback we've gotten is they've never seen uh, and easier to set up a um, campaign um, system here in uh, eBay. In fact, on even Google as well. Uh, we've made everything almost like the same magical uh, because we are working with Google to select the items that are likely to perform more than anything else. You don't have to do that yourself. Um, so all you we really need from you in the flow is that budget um, and you know a couple other settings, and then you're good to go.
So this sounds really easy because I've I've looked at Google campaigns before and I'm trying to decide on <laughs> budget and bid prices and everything. eBay are handling all of that for me. I just say I've got fifty dollars a day or twenty dollars a day and, and eBay takes over from there. Correct. And again, we're optimizing it to make sure that it stays um, as performant as possible. So, you know, and then you can just check on the dashboard on how the thing is performing and decide um, where to go from there. So we really urge everyone to try and test it out and see what it's, uh, what is, whether it's the right fit for you. And I've got another question on the setup. Um, what sort of size eBay account it, it, it should I be thinking about this? If I've only got sort of a couple of dozen listings, is it worth trying or is it something that is going to work better on an account that's got hundreds or thousands of listings? Is there a, an account type that I should think, OK, that's not for me or yes, I should give it a go? Um, so right now, we don't really have a minimum limit for who can um, you know, sign up for offsite ads uh, or we're about to call it maybe promoted offsite. We, um, we think it's for everybody. The quality of your listing is the most important thing. Gotcha. Again, Google, Google will filter out listings that are not high quality. They like a fixed price. They like good images. They like it when you have a GTIN, which is a basically the um, product ID that you see when you scan a product. Uh, the so more product details, EAN or UPC, and <laughs> exactly the most product details you you put in the uh, listing, the better. Uh, there are people who have a lot of listings, but a lot of the listings are not high quality. Um, you know that they are penalized in this process. So I would say, if you're the kind of person that sells high quality google eligible listings this is a product uh, that you should, you should definitely use um, and if you don't then you should probably consider how you can optimize the quality of your listings to get a better performance and to be fair this is something that ebay has been telling us for years that you want good quality product shots on a white background with no borders you want good titles fill out the item specifics have a great description it's, it's all of the basics correct uh, and another thing i must say is i think uh, some of our parts and accessory sellers are finding out that um, things that eBay has done over the years to get things like fitment and so on, we actually are performing better um, at conversion than they do on their own website because you know, we're making sure that we also include those things as we send your listings to Google. So there's even a possibility that outside that gives you a better performance that you can get on your own. So for those that want to go out and look more closely at this, are there any additional resources or support available to help sellers effectively integrate offsite ads into their marketing strategy? Where can sellers go to find out more? Well, I'll say, first of all, if you're a managed seller, you should talk to your account manager uh, because they are equipped to answer a lot of questions and help you run this campaign. Uh, we also have public facing um, you know, information again, maybe go to Google, Google, um, eBay offside ads, and that will help you land on our page because I don't have the URL by heart. Um, and then also, you know, if you are able to talk to anyone at Google, at eBay rather, then you should because they can get that information. Seller Center is also a very good place to check. And of course, eBayads.com uh, has more details on this product and has um, a lot of information on how all our wonderful eBay ads products work. So ebayads.com mm -hmm. is probably your best bet. And a shout out for sellers in the UK. eBay have announced four roadshows this year. So if you want to come and find eBay, there will be someone from eBay ads there. Um, just Google eBay seller roadshow or eBay for business roadshow. Find out where the dates are and get along there. And I think possibly the most interesting thing you said for me today was a little bit earlier when you said that some buyers may find the product from your own Google Ads on your own website, but they just prefer to buy on eBay. And this is just like making sure your eBay products are there alongside the, the, the ads from your own site and, and giving the buyer a choice of do they want to go to your site? Do they want to go to, to, to eBay and, and just making sure they've got that option? All right, and not mind you, these days very few searches are going to throw up either your site or eBay. It's either your site or eBay, and a hundred other potential sites. Uh, if you want to take a chance that it's your site, um, that's also good. But if you want to have two, two, you know, opportunities to win that buyer out of the several that are going to show up in that search, I think this is a, a, an opportunity for that. Anthony, this has been so interesting. I want to thank you so much for your time and uh, love to have you back on Channel X TV in the future to, to, to talk about future development. So thank you so much. Thank you and happy selling to everyone. Thank you.